guys good morning happy thanksgiving welcome back to my channel welcome to another planting with julian propagating video so i'm home here in santa monica and i'm about to head to las vegas for a week so i thought it'd be fun to do a propagation video dedicated to my big and beautiful crescilla ovada my jade tree i've been doing a bunch of cuttings off of this which is styled in my home in my patio as well as our restaurants in las vegas my home in las vegas and also a bunch of you guys were able either to win them in a giveaway or purchase them so if you guys are interested in purchasing any of my cuttings from my beautiful jade tree you can reach out to me on instagram on a direct message on planting with julian so i'm going to do part one of this video which is propagating them i have my scissors with me and it's been raining all night so the tree is nice and wet so it does give it like a really whimsical look because it never rains in santa monica i'm gonna clip a bunch and then when i come back in six days we're gonna go ahead and do part two of this video setting them up into propagation and what i'm planning on doing with these cuttings are either propagating it for the holidays and giving it away as gifts birthday gifts and also for you guys to purchase and let's get started i'm just gonna go ahead and bring you guys up closer so you guys can get a really good look at the tree and what it looks like it is about to bloom so the blooms are forming and it's just absolutely adorable this is going to be the second time i see this tree bloom on me so we're just going to cut a bunch and then set them in my patio head to las vegas and when i'm back next week we'll do part two setting them up okay so i have you guys really up close so you can see what i'm doing and how i propagate them I am going to go ahead and just do a few snips so you can see what I have. And my J tree is really, really healthy. Uh, so I get really nice cuttings from them. Here's another good one. Look at this. How cute. I'm just going to look at my tree and see where I want to do the cuts. There's a good one here. Look at that. And you can see also, look at the blooms. Slowly forming. I love that. So cute. When I do the cuttings, I'm looking for a stem that's long enough to be easy to propagate. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. And you can see the cute blooms forming. We'll do a few more here. So here's a really big one here, and you can see there's multiples here. This is a really good cutting. Look at that. I love that. This is a good one. Let's see what else. This is a good one. Okay, this one is quite interesting, but I may cut it here, here, and here because it looks funky. So I'll do that now. Here's a really good one right here. Alright, I have all of the cuttings in here. This whole planter is filled with cuttings and I have a bunch of bigger cuttings here. I'm going to stay in my patio calloused over and when I'm back next week, we'll go ahead and carry on with part two of propagating Crescilla ovata. See you guys next week.
wanted to do one last look on my jade tree and I guess I did some cuttings here a week ago for this video and since then as you can see there is new growth so this is a very easy plant to propagate look at how cute that is it stemmed off into more babies at the end of where I did the cut so very fast growing plant and I absolutely love having this big beautiful tree in my yard here we are, part two of propagating the jade plant, the Cressula ovata, good luck plant, friendship plant. So all of my cuttings have been sitting in my patio now for a week and they've been calloused over. And also with these cuttings, you can have it calloused over and you don't have to have it calloused over. It's up to you. It's the same way with my elephant's bush. Uh, we're going to be propagating it this way. I have all of my upcycle Snapple bottles that I'm using for them. I love using this particular style because it's on the heavy side and it's not going to flop over. And we're going to go through all of the cuttings and get them set up in water propagation. Now, because I do have a big tree, I don't need to separate them by taking the petals off one at a time. But if you do have maybe one cutting or if you have just a small little plant and you wanted to get more, you can easily take the petals off. So say for instance you don't have a big tree like me, you can go ahead and propagate it by leaf. So here's my variegated J. And I just have the fallen leaves on the bottom of the planter here. And if you take a look here, there is lots of new growth here. And you can get more babies this way. So you can propagate more. There's four babies here just hanging out this way and you just lay them on dirt and then what I do is I just miss them twice a week and they're gonna just do just fine and I'll have four more extra babies when the time comes planted up into a whole new planter or I can fill it up here. So there's um, various ways that you can make more babies out of the J plant. I wanna propagate it just by the stem and getting the root and then putting them into dirt. All right, so here is my potting tray. And these are all of the cuttings that I had cut up a week ago and it's just been hanging out callousing over. But for me, it doesn't matter callous over or not, I can still go ahead and cut them. So something like this, I'm definitely going to want to switch it up and get it individually cut so I can do something like this. See, there is lots of blooms on my cuttings and I just absolutely love them. So I'm going to just stick it into the bottle like so. And we're just going to work with whatever we have. And if you are interested in getting cuttings from me, you can reach out to me on Planting with Julian. A bunch of you already have. And it's so cool to be able to see my jade tree um, in so many different homes around the United States. I think it's so fun that I have actual plant friends. So I want to keep it like this. So something like this, I think I might want to keep it like this. So I'm just going to put the whole stem into the water like so. And this one looks kind of funky, so we're going to go ahead and propagate it here, here, and here. So for my smaller cuttings, I do have a smaller bottle. We'll just plop it in here. This is a cute cutting as well. So I have small bottles here on the bottom. These are my upcycled spice bottles that I had got at a thrift store a while back. This is a really nice cutting, so I'm just gonna keep it as is. And as you can see, the Snapple bottle is tall and on the heavy side, so I'm definitely gonna use all of them and they'll withstand the heaviness of the jade cuttings. Ooh, look at this one. This is a good one too. So we're just gonna stick it in the empty bottle. I like to propagate my jade cuttings this way because they root up really quick and I don't have any problems replanting them. I recently, if you do follow my Planting with Julian Instagram, which I hope you are, you see that I recently switched out all of the succulents in our restaurant in Las Vegas, and they all have my jade cuttings that I've been propagating in water in our Las Vegas kitchen. So I'm glad that there's the jade babies now on each of our tables in the restaurant which i think is super fun so if you're ever in las vegas definitely come by our restaurant It'd be really cool to see you guys here's a really nice cutting here and i think i'm gonna stick it in here put this guy in here as well and all of these j cuttings will go on my potting bench this is a good one too 
here. This is so cool. And also, if you did get any cuttings from me, I love getting updated pictures. So I can share it on my channel. And here's another one. So, as you can see, I have all of my cuttings in here. I'm trying to figure out. I do have more glass bottles, so I could bring out more bottles. But I don't have any problems getting roots if there's more than one in a bottle. They root up really easy. These are very low maintenance type of plant where it's not fussy at all. It'll actually propagate on the ground. So on windy days, I do see a bunch of jade on the ground. I just bring them back into my patio and they'll propagate. And I'll make more plants. And here is our last one here. Let me find space for this guy. Maybe we'll stick it in this here. All right, this way. So here they are. And I'll go ahead and I'll fill up water in the bottles so that the ends are in the water. And we're gonna go ahead and put them on my potting bench. So here we are. I have two of my nursery planters and I have a bunch of cuttings that I just cut. Again, it's up to you if you wanna go ahead and have the callus ends. I don't have a problem doing it either way with callus ends or not, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just stick these into dirt and they can propagate the same way like the elephant's bush. And we'll just do that. cuttings this way and here we go so I'm gonna place this into the greenhouse and then the rest of the glass bottles will go onto my potting bench here is my jade cuttings that I just put into dirt and they're gonna sit next to my elephant's bush cuttings One last look of the propagations in bottles on the top of my potting bench. It'll stay here until they root up and we'll go ahead and plant them up in an upcoming Planting with Julian episode. But I think they are going to do just fine. This is how I've been propagating my jade cuttings over the last two years. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here next to my big and beautiful Cressula Ovada. If you guys enjoyed this propagation video, let me know down in the comments below. So stay tuned for an upcoming Planting with Julian episode. When the water roots do show up, I will definitely go ahead and plant them up. And these cuttings will be up for sale if you guys are interested. And I will also be gifting a bunch of them over the holiday season. If you guys have been enjoying the propagation episodes on Planting with Julen. We've now propagated from my mother trees the prickly pear and the elephant's bush in Arizona and followed up by my big beautiful Cressy Lovata. You can find more on my blog at elajulen.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye!